Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Mind Games by John Lennon. There's your intro. It's also used as the Mind Games part. I'm calling that the verse. Sounds more like a chorus, but I'm calling it a verse. <laughs> so, in the video, in this video, we're going to call it a verse. Uh, so the intro, you need a C chord, 1st string, 3rd fret. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down, 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 up. That's our strum pattern for almost all of the song. One exception comes up in the chorus. So the C chord, down, 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 up. Then we're going to go to a G6. We're going to hold down the, it's, it's also like an E minor 7 if you know that. Uh, Third string, second fret, first string, second fret, everybody else is open. Sounds pretty cool. Down, 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 up. Okay, so you got C to the G, uh, G, <laughs> the G6, so C, G6, A minor, fourth string, second fret only. That's all you need. Back to the C chord. Now we're going to go to an F major 7. I'm going to play it like this. Sounds really nice on the U. It's the only F major 7 I can get to sound really cool. Uh, fifth string, uh, sorry, fourth string, fifth fret, third string, fifth fret. Same strum, okay? So that's the four and third strings at the fifth fret. I'm letting the other two strings ring open. I use my two and three fingers for it. Then I'm going to go to a different C chord. I'm calling this C chord, but it's at the third fret. Um, you're going to bar the top two strings at the third fret, third string, fourth fret, fourth string, fifth fret. Okay, you can use a regular C chord if you want. It'll work. But I'm going to do this one probably. All right, and then you got a D chord, which is the four, three, and two strings at the second fret, open first string. Then I'm going to just lift up, I want a D7 next, so I'm just going to lift this finger off so that the third string is open in between. Okay, so let's go over the intro again. You got C, G6, to the A minor, to the C, F major 7, C chord, to the D, and then the D7. Okay, so that's your intro. It's also used as the mind games part. You know, we're playing those mind games forever. And um, that's the verse. But you don't really need to do anything else because that's all it is, is that, that chord, um, chord progression. <laughs> you do that four times, and then um, there is a lead part. Let's try that. Where'd my slide go? All right. I'm going to attempt slide guitar on the ukulele. So let's see if we can figure this out. This part, uh, it's a lead part that's played throughout the song. It's on the electric guitar. They're using a slide. Uh, if you've never used one before, it's like a glass bottle um, or the metal ones they sell to. Uh, this one's a Corsetan bottle, uh, cough medicine, and um, very popular. This runs throughout throughout all those, uh, the intro and the verses in the song. And the notes are, it's the first string, seventh fret, and then the second string, three, five, and it just keeps going on like that. So if you don't have a slide, you could just go, like, but if you do have a slide, you can slide on the first string, slide up to the seventh fret, and then the second string, three, five, slide to, First string, seventh fret. Okay, and that goes through all. So you can have fun with that. All right, so that's your little lead part. There's a couple other guitar parts um, in the chorus later on in the song that they play, but they, uh, I didn't think they were, you know, for the uke, it's not that big a deal. But that, that part plays a major role in the song. So if you have a buddy, you want to play the chords, have him or he or she, play the uh, play the lead part, that'd be cool. All right, so now all you have left is the chorus. This is the love is the answer part. Uh, you got your C chord to the D, and then a G to G7, E 
minor to a G, and then the D with the long strum. Repeat C to the D, and then a G chord to G7, E minor to G, and then D. Okay, that part's always played twice, so they repeat the pattern twice um, in the song. So now you have everything you need. Uh, let's go over any chords we missed. You know how to play the C. The D was already in there. You know, G chord is the third string, second fret, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. Uh, then you turn into a G7, so you play the third string, second fret, first string, second fret, but now it's the second string, first fret. Then an E minor chord is the first string, second, second string, third, third string, fourth fret. That's an E minor. And that's all you need. Uh, it's the same strum for every chord except for the, the D chord at the end is down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. So we've used that in other videos. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. So here's the chorus one more time. It's the love is the answer part. Uh, C to the D, G to G7, E minor, you know. G for sure is D, C to the D, and G, G7, E minor to G for D, and they're just back into the uh, mind games part. So, you got your intro once through, you got your verse four times, same as the intro, but you do it four times. Then you got your chorus, what we just went over, that's twice. Verse comes in again, this time it's only three times through. And then the chorus comes back two times, and then the verse comes, now it's five times and they stop fading out. He just keeps going on and on about, um, you know, uh, they just they just vamp on that and then they, they, they fade out. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, play more Ook, and yes, I do miss John Lennon.